Indigo's new purple line is about to enter a new phase of construction. Which means new road closures that will impact thousands of drivers and not everyone is happy about it. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is talking to neighbors on both sides of the conversation. Inside New Direction Church on the city's northeast side. I'll get on the number eight. Meaningful conversation. There's some type of inconvenience. Between neighbors, some who take the bus, others who don't. But still, they all share a same concern. It's very needed transportation wise. You're able to get through other parts of the city that were not accessible previously. 38th Street between Emerson and Shadeland will be closed for a little over four months. The Purple Line will run 15 miles connecting downtown Indy to Lawrence. This is an area that has long been overlooked and forgotten. It's not just a new bus lane. Indigo says they'll add infrastructure upgrades, including 10 miles of sidewalk, more than 350 curb ramps, new street paving, and much more. James Logan says it's an area that doesn't have great accessibility for those needing public transportation. We've been kind of hurting for transportation in, the, in our area. It's not, not easy right. to get from point A to point B. Not at, at all. You have to go to C and D around the bout way to get to where you need to get to. However, on the flip side, you have to take a look at people in the community. Shawnee Johnson says she sees both sides, but now you got to do a weird U-turn in the middle of the street just to get to where you live at. Personally, I can't get to my home right now. I have to go down three streets to circle up a block to come down to my house. It shouldn't be that way. She says where the lines are built has caused a major headache. If the lines were more considerate to the communities that they were being built in, the color of the line is irrelevant. What needs to be taken into account is the people who are going to be impacted. We know that construction brings about it inconveniences, but if we can mitigate that by providing information, that's what we want to do. The construction has already been underway for about a year. What is being inconvenienced, what's being cut off, what's being accessible. Once that's done, you'll be able to be able to get to where you need to get to a lot easier, a lot safer. And I just think it's, it's a good thing. Working for you, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. The Purple Line is expected to open for service next year. The next phase of the Purple Line construction is scheduled to start as early as next month. The westbound lanes of 38th Street between Emerson and Shadeland Avenues will close for 130 days. One eastbound lane will remain open. There is a Purple Line open house happening right now at New Direction Church on 38th Street until 7 p.m. There will be another session at that church on Saturday from noon until 2. For more information on the Purple Line, just go to WRTV.com.